Hello everybody, this is King David coming at you with an episode of You Should Watch This. Man, I'm coming out with a lot of series these days. <laughs> I guess that's the nature of this YouTube channel. So if you have seen the title, the recommendation this episode is going to be The Rising of the Shield Hero. Shield! Jesus Christ! A faith! Wars! AKA Tata no Yusha no Nari Agari. That's what it is in Japanese. Shield! So to give a little context of what this anime is about, this anime is under the isekai genre. So what is isekai? Isekai in Japanese means other world. It's essentially a normal Japanese guy or girl uh, suddenly finds a way to get transported to another fantastical, mystical world. And very recently, you can see so many animes fall under this genre. Some examples include ReZero or Konosuba or The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Another good anime that you should watch. And this anime in the beginning just falls under the same isekai tropes where uh, this college guy, he's just um, living life, just like lazing around, just not really doing much with his life until he finds a way to get transported to this other world. So he goes to this library, he finds this book that somehow summons him and three other people to this dimension. And they find out that legend has it that there are four heroes each wielding their own unique weapon, the spear, the shield, uh, the sword, and the bow. The main protagonist of the story finds out he's a shield hero. So the main character Naofumi along with the three other heroes have to combat against this wave or just this um these portals that open up in the sky from I guess another tertiary dimension there's so many dimensions it's like the twilight zone or something uh these waves of enemies that come and uh they have to combat against those waves and protect the kingdom so what makes this anime unique from the other ones why am I recommending you guys to watch this anime Shield! first reason is the main character Naofumi is voiced by Ishikawa Kaito who is also the voice of Ida from Boku no Hero Academia Genos from One Punch Man, uh, Kageyama from Haikyuu, and Sakta from Session Butayaro wa Bunny Girl Senpai no Yumi Ominai, or Rasko Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai! The other main protagonist, Raftalia, who you'll find about later, is voiced by Asami Seto, who is the voice of characters like Chihaya from Chihaya Furu, and of course, Mai Sakurajima from Rasko Bunny Girl Senpai something Yume uh, <laughs> Session Butayaro wa Bunny Girl Senpai no Yume o Minai, or Rasko Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. It's another anime you should watch. There's a lot of animes you need to watch. This is gonna be a great series. The other main reason is uh, this anime just makes you feel things. It makes you feel emotion. For me, it takes a lot for a film or a TV show to really make me feel emotions. I am known as a robot in that regard. Like for example, The Lion King, when I watched Mufasa dying and Simba's like, no, please, I did not shed a tear. Spoiler alert. Although yes, I did feel kind of sad. Did not shed a single tear. Kind of weird in that regard where uh, Scenes where universally it seems like everyone cries. I don't really cry that much. But there are scenes like Boku no Hero Academia where um, Midoriya was just getting suppressed by that muscle guy and then he was like trying all his might to like push back forth. It was at that moment where just that emotion got to me and just that made me emotional and I shed a tear, yes, I shed a tear. And so anyways, uh, this anime made me feel real life. IRL emotions. Very rarely does a show make me feel intense anger. And I'm not gonna spoil you the details of what that exactly is, of what the source of that anger is. All I'm gonna tell you is a huge injustice is going to happen to the main character that's gonna make you feel IRL anger. IRL. Jesus Christ! This is one of the few animes, let alone TV shows, that made my blood boil in anger, that made me just shake with anger and just emotion. Another example of a great TV show that made me feel that same way is Game of Thrones. By no means am I saying this anime is perfect, it does have its flaws. Uh, sometimes it gets predictable, uh, sometimes it just falls under the common anime tropes. For me, if a show makes me feel that way, if it just gets me invested and just emotionally gripped, I feel like that's a show worthy of being watched. A comment on Reddit said it best where it was something along the lines of, because you feel this anger and just this injustice for the sake of this character, you're invested in the show, you want to watch the show episode after episode, trying to search for this cathartic release, this emotional release. I guess, in other words, a justice that will serve the injustice. I guess you're rooting for this character, the shield hero, to rise amongst the wrongs and the injustice that he has experienced. Wars! 
We're also going to see that because of these wrongs, it really just shapes uh, the development of this character as a person, his personality as well. We begin to experience the complete 180 that happens to the character in his personality, uh, that he goes from just a lackadaisical, just happy-go-lucky character to a very cold and very calculative person. You'll also see this girl named Raftalia, who I mentioned before. Uh, you're gonna see how she is the best girl. No debate about that, you're gonna see that. You're gonna love her, guy or girl, don't matter. Final reason of why I want you guys to watch this anime is because it's another story of a guy going from nothing to something. You see in the beginning of this anime where these characters are transported to this world and there are RPG elements of this world. They, The more monsters they kill, the more experience they get, the more they level up, the more skills they learn. The shield hero who starts with nothing, he doesn't even have any offensive skills, he just has defensive skills. The only thing he can do to kill monsters is pretty much punch them in the face and <laughs> just hope they die. But then over time he gets stronger, he encounters new party members along the way. But yeah, I'm a sucker for stories where people go from just absolutely nothing and then there's just like a progression or development uh, and they, then eventually they get stronger and you see the progress that they're making. I guess for me, I like stories like that. Uh, another story similar to that is Boku no Hero Academia where uh, Midoriya, he has no quirk, he has no power. And through an encounter with All Might, he is on his way to become the strongest hero in society. And again, it's just stories like that where characters who develop over time, who get stronger over time, and eventually be the best. And isn't that a lesson for us all? I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. And so that does it for today. As soon as this video ends, just what are you doing? Just go watch the first episode of this anime. It's a 40 minute special, which is pretty rare for um, a first episode of an anime. The Rising of the Shield Hero. Watch that. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, give me a comment down below of what other animes I should recommend or animes I should watch. If you haven't watched the other videos on my channel, go ahead and do that as well. Uh, be on the lookout for future content like this. And so with that being said, this is King David here telling you to stay royal, my lords.